Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we're going to go over this Kunkin. Um, we're going to go over this Kunkin Active Load again, and I'm going to show the different modes of operation: constant resistance, constant current, constant power, constant voltage. So let's jump over here and check it out. Let's be quick. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. So uh, we're going to test the Kunkin Active Load out. And it's a constant current right now. We're going to check the. Whoops. It's on constant uh, voltage here. It didn't like it because it was waiting for me to hit the set button, I guess. Um, okay, constant voltage, constant wattage, constant resistance. So those are the modes constant current, voltage, wattage, and resistance. So let's go to constant current. Let's set that up for. Uh, let's just leave it there 2.4 amps. Okay, set it. Now it's just waiting to do something, so I can turn it on. And this power supply was on actually, so it's right now. Look at this; these things are matching up pretty well. So this power supply here. Let me turn it off. Let me just show you how I have the power supply set up. So it's six volts out and 2.5 amps uh, current limit. Uh, let's see. I can. Oh yeah, it's 2.5 amps per side. So that's kind of maxed out right there. Okay, um, so turn it back on. Now it's putting out no current and it's sitting there at six volts. So let's turn this guy on. And it's almost maxed out there, so it can't really take much more. Um, but now watch, it doesn't matter if I take the voltage down, constant current, or if it's down two, four volts, five, six, seven, eight, go up to. 14 volts and go up to 20 volts that's kind of that's kind of the limit on this output 0 to 2 20 volts and 2.5 amps so now I can come over here let's see if I can lower it can't lower it when it's on it's too bad okay uh, I can set this up and I'll I'll just drop it down one amp just turn it back on Set it, turn back on. Yeah, see? So it's just constant current. That's constant current. Okay, now let's try something else. Uh, let's go to the next mode, constant voltage. Okay, constant voltage, set that up. Uh, 12 volts, all right. This power supply is capable of 21 volts, two and a half amps, right? Now, when I, what's gonna happen is this guy's gonna clamp it down to 12 volts and it's gonna pull all the current to load this power supply down to try to keep this only at 12 volts. And since this power supply is only capable of 2.5 amps, it's gonna get floored at 2.5 amps. It's basically almost look like a short circuit, I think. Let's try it out. Okay, this is on. Uh, there we go. Now turn it off, 21 volts. See, when I turn this off, it's current limit at 2.5 amps, 21 volts. Turn it on, zero current. When I turn this on, it says on, it's pulling 2.5 amps. That's all this guy's capable of. And it says 30 watts. So now I can lower the voltage. Okay, now it's starting to lower. And this, there's no current draw because he's gonna just keep this at 12 volts. So he's not even tripping until I get up to 12 volts. And then once I do, he's gonna try to keep this voltage 12 volts. And he can pull 40 amps, so he can pull a lot more current than this guy can give. Yeah, see, I can go as high as I want. I can try and it's just clamped. Now when I turn this off, let's see where I got it set, 20. I got 16, see it pulls right down 12. Okay, there's constant resistance. Turn that off. Let's go to the next one. Constant wattage. Okay, that'll be interesting. Okay, seven watts is where it's sitting. Um, okay, so seven watts. Let's set that. So it's set for seven watts. See, it's this. It's seeing what I'm putting out right now. It's monitoring the voltages right now. Uh, this guy's putting no current out. Once I turn this on, he's going to pull seven watts. So let's do it. Okay, it's set 6.9 something watts. So it's pulling about 0.4 amps on 16 volts. 
Now, if I lower the voltage, the current will go up. See, I'll lower it down the. Whoops. Now, look at that. I, I lowered it down here. It's pulling all the current it can to try to get 7 watts, but it can't do it. Let me bring up the voltage a little bit. It's looking like a short circuit to it. So this power supply thinks it's in short circuit. So let me turn this off. <laughs> so I, it, the power supply went in short current limit protection and it wouldn't go back on. So here, uh, well here I'll just start at 20 volts this time. Okay, that's the maximum voltage, 20 volts. Okay, let's turn it back on. And there's the seven watts we had set. And now I can drop the voltage, and this current is just going to go up the whole time. And 7 watts continuously. So that's constant wattage. So there you go. That is the different modes. Oh, let's do constant resistance. Um, set. Okay, 10.5 ohms is where it's sitting. Um, okay, if I set this voltage to 10.5 volts, well... You know, let's change. Okay, it's let's change this to uh, 10 ohms, and with 10 volts, 10 volts divided by 10 ohms, I should get one amp over here. Okay, and there we go. It's just about one amp, and that's about 10 watts almost, right? Okay, so I'll uh, increase this, and the power will go up because it's constant resistance. So if I go 16, it should be about, yeah, so it's about one point, here, hold on a sec, okay, 10 ohms, hey, I just learned something, if I, okay, let me finish this here for a minute, here, let's go back to 10 ohms, okay? Okay, it's set for 10 ohms, and if I go, okay, now if I go to 20 volts, it should be 2 amps. That's about 2 amps. Hey, I just learned something about this guy. I'm, I'm learning this because it's kind of new to me still. See, I can't change, I can't change the, the setting right, right now. Yeah, I can't sit change it, but if I hit the set, then it, then it allows me to change it while power's on. It's still on. If I take it up to 20 ohms, it's about one amp. Okay, there you go. So I can, uh, now I could do this kind of thing, move it back and forth real fast if I wanted to, you know, look at that on a scope or something and see what it's doing to my power supply. All right, I just want to show you the different modes of the, uh, this guy, uh, th that's just the constant modes. There's still the battery mode and the dynamic load. I'll, I'll show you those in the next video. Hey guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, okay? Uh, I will go over the dynamic part of this thing after I learn how to do it, and I'll show you. <laughs> and there's also a battery operation on here where you can test uh, batteries, okay? So we'll do that too. All right. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.